Hi there, this is me your friend Deepak and I welcome you in yet another video of IT Job Matters. In this video, I will be explaining about COBOL DB2 program restart logic and how do we implement it as well in detail. So let's start. So firstly try to understand what is commit and rollback. All the changes made to database since the initiation of transactions are made permanent by executing commit command. And this is how we run commit command in COBOL DB2 program. Rollback brings back the database to last committed point. And this is how we achieve rollback command. You see there is one commit and one rollback just before termination of the transaction. But this is not preferred always. Why so? Suppose if the program is updating 1 million record in table space and it abnormally ends after processing 90,000 record due to database issue. Then in that case rollback will be executed and the database will be bring back to point of transaction initiation. Means all the 90,000 record which was processed will be rollback. So now suppose we are going to restart again as there was some issue in database. Now ideally the restart of the program must not process those 90,000 record which was already processed. It should only process the remaining 10,000 record. But due to bad design of application or there was no proper implementation of restart logic, it costs CPU time and repeated work. So this brings back or necessitates system to have a proper restart logic. If the program is expected to do huge update, then the commit frequency has to be chosen properly. Let's say after careful analysis, we have designed our application's commit frequency after each thousand record. And if the program abnormally ends while processing 15,000 record, then the restart should not start processing records from beginning. It should start from thousandth record. This is done using restart logic. There are several ways to implement this restart logic, but the actual purpose and mechanism to implement it remains same. So now let's talk about the very first way which most of the organizations are using of restart logic. So for that we need to create one temporary table. We can name it as a restart or whatever we want to name it as per the specific organization standard and then we need to insert below information like program name, job name and date of execution of that particular program which we are going to execute and we are going to implement restart logic in it and the last record key at the time of commit. Now the insertion should happen just before the issue of every commit. Remember we need to fix some uh, commit frequency so after each commit we need to insert that row in the table. Now we need to write a program in such a way that first paragraph of the procedure should first read record of the restart table by searching job name and date of execution or program name particularly. So this is how we can write a in our program. I have given here a sample super code like suppose if there is no row in restart table by this job name and date then it means program is running first time so it should run normally. Now suppose if there is row in table and last record key is 0 or null in uh, using that job 1 and date 1 it means the record has to be processed from beginning. Suppose if there is a row in restart table record key is greater than 0 for job 1 and date 1 then we should start skipping record in a file till key is found. Once key is found then we can start processing from key plus one. So in our case it was job was abandoned at 1050th record. So now uh, as we know our commit frequency is 1000 so once we start checking whether the restart is having some key or not so in restart we will be having key 1000 so we'll skip first 1000 record and then we'll start processing from 1000 plus 1 record 
after the processing of all record 1 million record or let's say how many record you are going to do process in your program delete the entries in restart table and then issue a final commit now let's talk about the second way of implementing restart logic using the vzm file here we need to define a vzm file and store the last updated key value in it whenever you issue a commit in your db2 pro COBOL db2 program now see your program has abandoned at 1020th record now in vzm file you will have a key of 1000 record and all the initial 1000 records should have been committed by that time when the job abandoned so when you correct the issue and restart the program then in your program first you need to check that or you need to read the vism file to get the key information so like i talked in the previous way using db2 implement table implementation we need to have a logic to check the key field in table in such way or in that way only we need to check in our vism file as well so we can check like if the key is zero it means we are running job for first time if key is greater than zero means read input file without doing anything until that key is found in our example we will be getting 1000 as a key record or 1000 record key then we will start reading file and we will not do anything until the 1000 record is reached now once we reach the key of 1000 then we will start processing from that point like I say in our example vism file will have 1000 record so till 1000 record we will browse through and the input file from the 1001 record you will start processing it so this is the second way of implementation so I tried to cover the two most or widely used restart logic way in organizations now to have restart logic implemented in your system your organization must support it if your organization does not have any restart or recovery process in place it will be suggested to not implement it or to not use it I've seen many organization and in even I worked in many organizations where still there is no such restart logic implemented in their batch environment it may be because their architect must not have thought or realized the importance of restart logic or some other reason in COBOL IMS program it seems like restart logic is taken care by IMS itself now this COBOL DB2 restart logic is mostly asked question in many of the interview but especially in Capgemini they ask for sure I hope that I have covered or tried to cover most part of this topic if you have any question or any doubt regarding this video do post it in the YouTube comment section below and I will try to include it in my next video Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.